Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install pip with your Visual Studio Code editor if pip command is not working in your Visual Studio Code terminal. So as you can see, I have this very simple NumPy uh, script here, which requires the import of uh, this NumPy pip package. And when I hover over this NumPy, it says import numpy could not be resolved. So we need to install this numpy pip package. To install this, usually we use this pip install numpy command. And when I press enter, it's going to show you this kind of output, which says pip is not recognized as an internal or external command. If you have uh, the PowerShell open, and if you give the same command pip install numpy here it's going to give you the same output that the term pip is not recognized as the name of cmd let so let's see how we can solve this problem so let's see how we can install pip on our windows operating system first of all click on this search bar and then search for cmd here and then open the command prompt so first of all let's check which version of python we have so just write python space hyphen hyphen version here and you can see i have python 11 installed and if i give pip hyphen hyphen version here i will see this output which says pip is not recognized so to install pip you need a small command i'm going to give this command in the description of this video so just copy this command and then paste this in your terminal. So I'm going to just paste this and then click on enter here, which is going to download this get hyphen pip dot py file. Okay. So once this uh, get dot pip dot py file is downloaded using this curl command, then we just need to execute this file. So I just need to write Python and then the name of this script, which is get hyphen pip dot py right and then press enter which is going to start the installation of pip on your windows operating system so just wait for it to be installed so you can see some output here and now once this command is successfully completed i can see this message which says successfully installed pip right so once pip is installed now we just need to set the environment variable for pip in our environment variables so that we can use the pip command now which path we need to set for pip this path is given here right so whatever path you see here you just need to copy this path this path can be different in your case right it depends on where you have python installed on your windows operating system so just copy the path which is shown here. Usually it's C uh, directory and then a uh, big path here. Okay. So just copy the path. So once you have copied this path, click on search and then search for ENV. And the result you will see here is this one. Added the system environment variable. Click on this option, which is going to open this kind of window. Then click on environment variables here. And then under system variables, click on this path variable and then click on edit. And then you need to add this path at the end of uh, this list. So click on new here and then paste the path you have copied, which is this path, right? So just copy this path and then paste it in the environment variable. So once this path is pasted, click on OK and once again OK and then click on OK once again. Now at this point, this part is important. You need to close your terminal, right? If you don't close your terminal, this pip command will not work in the current command prompt. Close your command prompt and then open the command prompt once again. And once the command prompt is open, just write pip space hyphen hyphen version and then press enter and hopefully this time it's going to work now let's go to our visual studio code editor and let's see if pip is working 
And also I will recommend you to relaunch your Visual Studio Code editor. Okay, so let me close this uh, Visual Studio Code and then let me relaunch Visual Studio Code again. And once Visual Studio Code is relaunched, click on uh, the terminal and then click on new terminal. And now just try the pip install command once again, right? So this is important. You might need to relaunch your Visual Studio Code in order to use this pip command again. Otherwise, it might not work in the same Visual Studio Code instance which you are working on previously. Now, once again, write pip install numpy or whatever package you want to install and then press enter. And this time you can see pip command is working. And now I can see that the numpy package is installed and this error is gone, which I was seeing earlier. Now I can even run this script by just writing python space the name of my python script which is test.py in my case and then press enter and you can see this script runs successfully. And now you can install any pip package on your windows operating system using terminal itself also. So to install any package just write pip install and the name of the package numpy here and then press enter and it's going to work, right? So you can see it's uh, already installed. So this is how you can set up pip on your Windows operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.